from bed with violently long strings. The picture is drawing us down. It seems raised the virgin. Ushi na utami, mata hisa o tsuki. Kiramiku suna koboshi te kaki naosu. Seems like I got them. Got them? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. It's just that a lot of my plans have been ruined at every turn. So I'm very irritated right now. <sighs> That's why I wanted to upset them at least once. Did you think I wouldn't spare any effort in setting up a way to spite them? Don't tell me. Did you do something to Mel? That's a matter of interpretation. All I wanted is for her to become more honest. I wanted her to wield her powers as ruler, that's all. So I gave her a little encouragement. How many times do I have to tell you you're not taking this seriously enough? Having an imposter in the royal selection is an emergency for the whole kingdom. There is no need to play roundabout tricks to expose these malcontents. Hmm, you do have a point. However, Sir Bordeaux, I thought you had a strong dislike of Miss Amelia. The people in the castle are simply worried that your determination of who the imposter is will be based on nothing but mere conjecture. <laughs> that is a foolish concern. You can't be serious, Sir Miklatov. Well now, I don't know about that. <laughs> Fine. I'll play along. It's true that I detest the Half-Devil Candidate. I think it should be out of the question to even consider her. However, I would never be so short-sighted to think that things I dislike are evil. If I were that thoughtless and shallow, I would not be here today. I would have lost my life years ago on the battlefield during the Demi-Human War. Yet that didn't happen. That's my answer to you. Sir Miklatov, are you satisfied? Hmm, quite. In any case, the Council of Wise Men is not a monolithic group. But we all strive for the peace of the kingdom. There is no doubt about that. I hope that we can have a constructive discussion about this. It is as you say. By the way, about Miss Melty... Her again. What is it? It's unlike you to be this way. You seem to be playing favorites. No, but she was recommended by the Transcendent Dragon Church. She has the right disposition to maintain the covenant of the royal family with the Divine Dragon. I was simply thinking that... Thinking... Hmm? Sir Rickard? Uh, uh, uh. What's the matter? Are you not well? Sir Rickard? Uh, uh, uh. Sir Rickard, what is this? Sir Bordeaux, is it not just Sir Rickard? This is the castle. No, the town as well. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Damn it, what is this? This can't be happening. What the hell is going on? Laksha, Plum, please be safe. Princess! 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 We got trouble! What's with all the noise? I am in the middle of a book here. Don't interfere. Yeah, sorry, I'll come again later. Wait, no! Now's not the time for that! There's something terrible happening in town. Everyone is wreaking havoc out there. 
Please, princess. I hope you don't go and cause trouble. I'm not confident I can stop you. Ooh. Fool. This is where you should give your life to protect mine. In any case, I would never put myself in any compromising position. Ow! Oh. Well, I guess that's true. But this must have something to do with what Bro said yesterday. Probably. Probably? So what are we going to do? Are you just going to let things... Is there anyone attacking the manor? None yet. I can't put Schultz at risk. So I did tell him to go into hiding. Then it's fine. Good on you that you did your job without me having to tell you. The rest is up to them. We have nothing to do with this. Is that really what you want? Do you still not understand, Al? The world exists for my sake, after all. No matter how it all ends, it is nothing for me to trifle over. Just do your part and do it well. That is all you can do. An ominous wind is starting to blow. What I feared is becoming a reality. Is this due to Miss Melty's evil eye? I can hear it. I can hear the screams of the people throughout the royal capital. There are screams and cries of anger. At this rate, the great escape will not be lasting too long. Miss Amelia, Miss Crochet, please make your decision. Let's do this. That's why you two were brought here. What's going on in town? It's Melty. What? Melty's evil eye is going out of control. The people under her indoctrination are starting to wreak havoc. That woman must have done something. Sakura, I knew that woman would do something like this. Damn, we've been had! We can't let this opportunity go to waste. Find the dragon carriage that Melty is on. I'll blow away the other two. Got it! I'll try! Why would they do this now? Now I can't tell which is the right one. They play such petty tricks. Damn it! Melty! <sighs> she laid a trap! Damn that conniving woman! No time to complain! I can't do the surgery at this rate! We're completely short on time! Miss Rob, can you match my movements? Who do you think you're talking to? Fear and bow before me. <laughs> now then. <sighs> ah! Stay put! We don't want to get rough on you. We have her held down. Do it now. Ferris, please. G got it. I'll make sure it doesn't hurt, so sleep. <sighs> Useless Barisu. Now is not the time to relax. Huh? It appears that Miss Melty acted this way was purposely triggered by someone. It's likely that it also affected the people under the effect of her evil eye. What? Then... Yep, that's right. It's a good thing we asked them to stay behind in case something happened. <laughs> Sir Rickert! This is not good. Rickert has gone mad. Protect Lord Miklatov, otherwise... Oh, there's no need for that. What? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that's quite powerful. But anyway... Margaret Mavis! Oh, excuse me. It's an emergency, so I hope you'll allow a vase or two to be broken. Hmm, Margaret Mavis, it appears that you have an idea of what is happening to Sir Rickert. Yes, yes, to be quite honest, yes. There are some machinations behind this incident, but... But what? If you know something, say it! This goes beyond just us at the castle. We must hurry, otherwise the people in town... Oh, you have no need to worry about that. I've taken the proper precautions. Oh? That's reassuring. What are they? Well, I suppose you can say... The future of the Kingdom of Lagunica is bright. 
craziness is everywhere. Blacksha! Plum! Damn it. I have no time to waste. If I don't go back, who's gonna protect my family? I'm not good at holding back. I'm not trying to kill you, but don't blame me if you die. <laughs> Shoot! Sir! Come on, stop hiding and run away! I can't hold them back all on my own! <laughs> That's... Hey, kid! If you stay here! <laughs> I like your courage. You're a man among men. What? But you should never give up. Never ever until the very end. Anyway, Tivi. Understood. Let's do this, everyone. Are you the Iron Fang? Oh, you know your stuff. I thought we weren't all that well known around these parts yet. At this rate, maybe I should reconsider how to sell myself. How to... sell yourself? Mm-hmm. I'm Anastasia Hoshin. You better remember this face and name. I can make things worth your while. Anastasia Hoshin. Anyway, you sure showed yourself to be a man back there. How about it? Would you want to work with me? It's an honor, but I think I'll pass. Because I have a wife and kid I need to go check on. That's a manly answer there, too. My lady, we cleaned up things over here. We're heading to the next spot, right? Of course. We have to get more people to owe us favors. This is where we do our business. We can't fall behind other kids that are working hard. What's going on? Those guys are nuts! They had a crazy look in their eyes. Didn't listen to a word we said. This is too much. We better get out of here, quick! Man up! Ton! Jin! Khan! You're all so pitiful for being so ready to run away. You don't have much chance to show off in your entire lives. If you don't stand your ground here, when are you going to? You don't know what you're talking about. What the hell can we do in this situation? All we can do is run around like headless chickens! Yeah, what could a bunch of outcasts like us do anyway? Do you seriously think that? <sighs> if you're serious about that, then there's nothing more I can say to you. Be the loser that you are, and just turn tail and run! I'm going. I don't want to make excuses for myself. What good is thinking like that going to do? When you live with a purpose, You'll never have regrets no matter how you die. Then again, just do what you want. I'm off to contain this mob the best I can. Damn it! That brat just told us off! 
making excuses. What's wrong with that? It's better to be alive than dead. But, but... Hey, Ratchins, Camberley. What? I think I dropped something of mine over there. Yeah? I think it's something real important. So I gotta go get it back. Hey, are you serious? If you dropped it there, just give it up! I can't do that. Because I'd be as good as dead without it. Did you really drop something that important? Yes, Don. Don't tell me. You wanna help that kid out? Cut it out. You know I'm not like that. I'm just gonna go pick up what I dropped. So, about that. You guys probably dropped the same thing. Uh, what? Me too? When did that happen? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. God damn it all! Ah! Fine, I'll do it! Damn, damn, damn it all! I knew you had it in you. Let's go, Camberly. What? But I don't even know what I dropped. <laughs> Those guys. Looks like they've got it in them after all. All right, I'm ready now. Show them what we slum dwellers are made of. Let's go! <laughs> Why is that? The situation hasn't changed at all. Why? You seem to be losing your edge, Sakura. You sure you want to be distracted while facing me? <sighs> oh, Tiga. You're much tougher than I thought. You must be wounded all over. And your bleeding won't stop with the type of bugs I've been using. I'm sure you're feeling dizzy right about now. Or are you able to remain standing all out of love for Melty? That's right. It's out of love for Mel. Not that you'd understand what love is. <laughs> I know that love can empower you. Just thinking about Mel gives me more power than all the blood I've lost. You don't know when to shut up. Just like that Subaru. <laughs> That's starting to seem like a badge of honor. Turns out he's a greater person than I expected. I was getting worried when you started talking so much. But it sounds like your plot was a dud after all. Too bad for you, Subaru Natsuki has won up to you every step of the way, Sakura Element. That's the truth. How dare you! That foolish little brat cannot possibly get the better of... Well, well. We cannot have that. It stands to reason that you're unable to win when you've miscalculated your enemy. It appears that your defeat could not be avoided. What? It's you! Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Wilhelm Trios. I am but a humble swordsman and subject of Duchess Crusier Karsten. Wilhelm Trias? Where have I heard that name before? You're... I would say I've come to help, but that is not the case. I am not here to assist you, but to fight in your stead. What do you mean? There's chaos breaking out all around the royal capital as we speak. I have been quelling the unrest for some time now. However, in my experience, these things must be dealt with at the source. That is why I will take over from here. What? That woman is the mastermind behind this all. Make no mistake. Is your objective to defeat the enemy? Oh. Is your objective to defeat the enemy? No, it's not. 
My objective is to help Mel. Very good. My land dragon is just around the corner in the back street. You should be able to ride it to catch up. Now go. Thank you for everything. Not to worry. This old man finds joy in these things. A long time ago, many people helped to set the stage for me. And now I must repay that favor. Sakura. Tiga, I won't allow this. Mel is not fit to be ruler. Even if she has the power, she can choose not to follow that path. <sighs> I want to have Mel choose for herself. You call yourself a humble swordsman? This is... I've simply wielded the sword for a long time. With my lack of natural talent, that is all there is to it. Though in my years, I've learned to understand the principle of things. Principle? Indeed. A man will go to the woman he loves. Standing in the way is the epitome of boorishness. Prepare yourself. Our paths may not have crossed until this faded day. But your head shall be mine for this aged sword devil's taking. Sword devil? I see. The sword devil. Anastasia's going to the Nobles District and Shopping District, and Felt's heading to the slums. But we aren't out of the woods yet. We need Melty to get back to her senses as soon as possible. You don't have to keep repeating yourself. I know my role here. Subaru, you should calm down. You've done enough already. Leave the rest to us. Mm-hmm. Besides, you'll just get in the way. Are you sure you want to see all the blood and guts? Uh, I'm actually not that good with gore. All right. I'd hate to leave now, but I'll go outside. But my heart is with you guys. If you feel lonely, just think of me and... Shut up. Hurry up and go. Amelia, it. what's the situation? Subaru, is everything okay in there? Yeah, the surgery is starting. I have a feeling something bad is happening in this city. Let's leave that to the others. We have to do our own job. Right. We can't be worrying about everything at once. We only have so many hands between us. We just need to grasp what's in front of us with both our hands. Yes, and we're fleeing in different directions from the other dragon carriages right now. I don't see Wolf behind us anymore, so I think we're okay. I don't want to guess based on hope. Never be too optimistic, or... <laughs> Subaru! That's... There he is! Did he circle around us? But how did he get in front of the dragon carriage? No, there's something else going on. Normally he shouldn't have enough mana to do this, but... It's coming! It stop me! in that dragon carriage. Don't worry. 
worry, Subaru. We should be able to handle that. Really? It might have been dangerous if it was just me here, though. I'll follow your lead. There's no time to practice, but can you do it? Yes! Leave it to Subaru's friend! You heard them. Hang tight, Subaru! G got it! Wait, where do I hang on? One blow, a hundred felt! Oh, Yuma! Open the way! <laughs> Too. Does it hurt anywhere, Subaru? Uh, I think I'm fine. Uh, wait, Melee, don't you think you're really close? Hmm? Because you grabbed onto my hips. Huh? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry! I didn't do it on purpose! I really didn't! But you smell real nice. I mean, that's not what I meant to say! Hey, Subaru, watch out! If you back away too much... Huh? Come on now. It'd be pretty sad if this is how you died. Whoa! Sorry about that. Thanks a bunch. Wait, Tiga? Cool it, will ya? No need to react so weirdly. How could I not? I thought you stayed behind in the slums. Where's Sakura? Did you beat her? Y yeah Are you okay? It seemed really tough with all those weird bugs to deal with. Oh, but thank you for saving Subaru. You're such a scatterbrain, Subaru. Haven't heard that in a while. Whoa, whoa. Both of you, calm down. First, I didn't defeat Sakura. Someone else took my place. Took your place? Who? An old man called Wilhelm. He claimed to be a swordsman who serves Miss Crusade. Wilhelm? Did Crusade send him out for us? <laughs> Crusade really knows what she's doing. But you said you didn't defeat Sakura. That's because I left before the fight ended. That old man gave me a lecture. He said I have to do what a man is supposed to do by being next to the woman I love. That's the gist of it, anyway. It's like you to see that. So are you here for Melty's surgery? Yeah. I want to watch by her side. If I won't get in the way, that is. That depends on the guys inside, but I think it's okay. That said... We're doing surgery inside, so we can't afford to lose the divine protection of wind repel. We won't be able to stop the dragon carriage. Yeah, I know. You don't have to stop. I'm going to go see Mel. I want to stay by the woman I love. Got it. Are you sure it's okay to go inside? I heard what they're doing to Melty is really painful. He's prepared for it. It's not right for me to say anything. Hmm. Okay. Calm down. If you rush this, you could make a grave mistake. I know that, but I've never done such a weird treatment where you fix one part and leave the other. Just focus on what you want to do. Julius and I will help you. Uh, I'm giving Subaru a piece of my mind later.
What the? <sighs> oh, an uninvited guest. That's a bit mean to say. I got permission from the two outside to come in here. Outside? Oh, you mean Barisu and Miss Amelia? Their permission is meaningless here. Unfortunately for you, they have no authority to let you in. Setting Subaru aside, I'm surprised you'd say that about Miss Amelia. Tiger? How'd you get here? I got saved by this really powerful old man. He said he was a swordsman for Miss Crochet. Oh, it was Old Man Will? An excellent move by Miss Crochet. And you came at a good time. Come on over! <laughs> what should I do? I'll have you know that I probably can't help in cutting open Mel's throat. It's impossible for me to put a knife into the woman I love. You'll have to ask someone else. I'm not going to ask someone to do something so advanced on the fly. It's something else. Can you hold on to Miss Melty's hand? Her hand? You get the best job out of all of us. Yes, hold on to her hand. if we were working with healing magic here. You wouldn't want to transfer mana onto the patient through touch. But when it comes to this surgery thing, I want you to be holding her hand. At times, that can be what saves the patient. Rom? When nightmares keep you up at night, having someone's warmth by your side can make all the difference. That is enough to get you through those sleepless nights. Even such cheap miracles can happen. The cheap part was unnecessary. can't do much else, but I won't let go of your hand, Mel. I know you don't like having your hand held and the reason behind it, but I won't let go. It appears you're all out of tricks. <laughs> How pathetic of me. I fell right into the trap. No matter how much you may plot, you are no match for Subaru. Your acts of barbarism end here. Barbarism. Barbarism, huh? Is that what the desperate struggles of outcasts like me look like to you? Don't make any sudden movements. I've heard from Subaru Natsuki that he wants to help you. But I will show no mercy if you resist. That goes for Rem here as well. Yes, Rem will not hold back. So please do not resist! You want to help me? How kind of you. But I reject your help. I have no desire for your mercy. We did warn you. There will be no second warning. My goodness.
Are you idiot? What were you thinking? Why did you protect me? Stop shouting in my ear. Why? Idiot. Who'd want to help a jerk like you? But I had no choice. Their body is sums. And your face, too. Oh, God. You... Puka, you, you, this isn't like you. You should be cursing at me like usual. You hated being used by me, didn't you? How can you die like this? You were supposed to grow to become a great spirit. How can... Puka? Hey, hey. This has to be some kind of joke! Don't die, Puka! Don't die for a coward like me! Don't! Miss Crochet! The attack landed, though the intended target was not hit. Yes, I believe it's over. Tragic incident to Subaru. But we can't change what happened. I will go apologize to Subaru Natsuki with you. I have enough reason to do so. Yes, and now. Concentration of mana is so thick that it's visible. Is he absorbing it endlessly? All vessels have their limit. If you absorb mana beyond your capacity, you will crack and shatter. I don't care! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if I end up breaking. Her core is already cracked. I have to keep feeding her mana to keep her from disappearing. And that's what I'll do. I don't care if I end up draining the whole world. I'll keep her alive until the very last moment. <sighs> now, awaken and fight once more, great spirit of fire, Puka! Incinerate my soul along with our enemies! It can't be. <laughs> Let's do this, Puka! We will destroy the enemy! To the south of the royal capital. Pursue the fleeing enemies. Melty must be there. We need to get her and her evil eye back. <laughs> that accursed royal capital. Those detestable citizens. Give us everything! This is bad. He's after Melty Christie's. Let us go, Miss Crochet. Rum. The person I care about, as well as your first knight, are all in Wolf's path. We must catch up and help stop him at all costs. <laughs> Naturally, that is what we must do. Fortunately for us, the effect of his evil eye has lessened due to him expanding its range of effect. Now we should be able to catch up. However,
we won't be able to catch them on foot. We must do something. Then would you ladies like a ride? Uh, that voice. It's you. Neely? Am I seeing things? If I am, then I just need to go to the hospital. No, I don't think you are. Because I can see it too. Thought so. <laughs> That thing is probably after us, right? Yes, I'm sure of it. It's the little spirit that was next to Wolf. That's Puka? She has the same face. Can't you tell? I haven't seen very many spirits, mind you! She'll set everything on fire, and Wolf seems to be absorbing mana everywhere he's going. Neely, let's leave the city! We can't let them stay inside the royal capital! You're right. At this rate, they'll burn down the whole city! Let's take them outside before that happens. Then our destination should be... Let's head for that easy-to-spot landmark that we saw on the way from the manor to the royal capital. The Flugel's Tree. Are they leaving the royal capital? Another optimal decision. was able to ascertain my own limits. I thank you for that. Now die. Straight from hell! Burn just as brightly! I will absorb everything and show you what hell is like! This is bad. It appears the dragon carriage is leaving the royal capital. If we remain in the city, it will result in unspeakable damage. Those two made a wise decision. Leaving the city? Did something happen? Oh yes. You cannot see it from here, but that spirit is not holding back any longer. A spirit? Puka. I'm a spiritual arts user myself, though not much of one. But I can tell that the spirit from earlier has evolved to become a true great spirit. How did that spirit come to cooperate with Wolf? It's the same as Sakura. This mother that Sakura serves ordered Puka to keep an eye on Solemn. Puka's been with us ever since. Compared to Sakura, she's much better company. Even so, I could never figure out what Puka was really thinking. She appeared to be kind and considerate, but she purposely sided with Wolf, someone who let Sakura tell him what to do. So... Well, in the first place... What is Wolf? His real name is Solemn, and he's Miss Meowty's big brother, right? Then why would he go against Miss Meowty? I don't know anything about Wolf, but anyone can tell that it's not just Solemn putting on an act. Solemn and Wolf are too different. They really are different people. There are two people inside of him. I have heard such things can happen. That there are two people in one? 
The vessel of the human body is much more complex and deep than it appears. So this sort of unusual circumstance is possible. Then, if that's the case, I think Solemn is on Mel's side, just like me. But I don't know about Wolf. He could be fighting his own battle. But... But what? We've come this far without ever exchanging words. That's it. I see. something hit us? Uh, we're in the middle of something important here. Cut out the shaking! This is bad. We've left the royal capital. We've been running for hours. I'm more worried about the land dragon and everyone we have in the carriage. Sorry for making you run for hours, Patrice, but you're our only hope. Thanks to you, we reduced the damage to the royal capital. We'll fight the best we can. Please, hold up with us till the end. We can't keep running forever. Neely. I'm sure you're thinking the same thing, Subaru. Even if we keep running, he'll catch up to us. It'll be too late then. is the only one who can fight. I can't bring in reinforcements. The most I can do is give moral support. Maybe I should return by death. Subaru, look! Neely? What are you... Mewi? Don't make that face. You can't blame yourself. Don't worry, it'll be alright. You've worked so hard. Now it's my turn. This'll be easy peasy. <sighs> Subaru? That's a phrase I haven't heard in a long time. Subaru! <sighs> Sorry. Mewi, you're amazing. That's how it's always been for everybody. We all fight and struggle as long as we live. Subaru! Miss Amelia! Uh, that voice! You caught up! Yes! We may be a bit late, but Subaru's REM has arrived! Looks like we got here just in time. Thank you, Ricardo Welkin. <laughs> if you want to thank someone, thank the mistress for me. She'll love it. She ordered the main forces of Iron Fang to join you guys. Woohoo! That's right. It's all thanks to my lady. Big sis, it's dangerous if you keep jumping around on the coachman's seat. <laughs> hey, Terrell, you're such a scaredy cat. You'll never grow up to be big and strong. Watch and learn. Big sis. Ricardo! And Mimi, too! You picked up Ram and Crochet for us? Anastasia is amazing. Subaru... We can do it! Yeah! Neely and the Iron Fang. Now Rem and Crochet, too! Now we can fight! Neely, let's do this! The objective is to buy time for the surgery to finish. <laughs> right. The look you have on your face now suits you much better, Subaru. <laughs> You're making me blush. Listen up, everyone! We're entering the final phase of the battle! Our objective is to stall them! 
We have to buy time until the surgery is finished. To everyone who is fighting alongside us, and to those at the Royal Capital who are fighting where we can't. This wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for every one of you. Thank you all. I know it's still too early to say thanks. Damn it, I know that better than anyone. But I just had to say it. Once we take care of everything, the royal selection will finally begin. Then we'll be back to being enemies. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We'll fight it out fair and square. Now, let's start the final battle! All right, charge! The big one's mine! Don't just go charging in yet. We need a plan. You don't get it, Heitaro. These things are all about momentum, so let's charge! Not so fast, Mimi. Momentum is indeed important, but when coordinating with a group, we must agree on some key points before making any moves. That's true. Some of us are fighting together for the first time, so we need to hash it out before charging in. Okay, then. Mimi will wait for now. Don't talk too long. Keep it short. Very well. We lack the time for such idle conversation anyway. Let us keep this brief. Subaru Natsuki, there are several things I must confirm before we engage in battle. Like what? To begin with, how long do you require we stall for you? We should know at least that much before we begin combat. That's true. It's important to know the amount of time we need to buy before we fight. Yeah, good point. Our goal here isn't to kill Wolf or Puka. It's strictly to buy time for Melty's operation. As long as we accomplish that, a lot of our problems will be solved. I can't say for Wolf, but I'm sure we can talk things out with Solemn. And Puka, too. They appear to be kind-hearted when they help that lost child reunite with her parents. Our real enemy is Sakura, and her mother backing her. Since Wolf is actually Solemn, I want to avoid killing him if possible. We may not have the luxury of avoiding it, but we should confirm with Ferris and the others how much time they shall need. You're right, Cruce. We can't really make plans without a standard to base them on. Sorry, Ferris. But would you mind giving us your input? Regardless of the situation at hand, some questions must be asked. We cannot act without this information. It would only end with the situation growing worse. Do not mistake this for kindness. I can answer for Ferris. If there's something you need to know, please ask me. That is correct. Barusu, your complete disregard for propriety is one of your few good qualities. Modesty doesn't suit you. Wrong. Apologies, Barusu. I take that back. I do not actually consider it to be a good quality. And you really should learn to be modest. Did you really need to take it back? I was actually feeling a bit moved just now. Anyway, thanks to you, I think I'm back to my usual self. This is my first time seeing a live surgery, so I feel a little anxious. I understand how you feel, Subaru. I doubt I could keep calm if it weren't for my ability. I'm sorry, Subaru. Mary was a bit terse with you earlier. Julius should be able to answer most of it. Would you mind handling this for me? Of course. I will handle the questions. You focus on the surgery, Ferris. What would you like to know, Subaru? I want to know the progress of the operation, including how much longer you think it'll take. To be honest, the surgery has been a struggle. It's been about four hours since we started, but it could take another hour before we finish. An hour? tend to take a while. If we're looking at another hour or so, I think we've got a good shot. 
It's gonna be tough holding them off for a whole hour, though. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. An hour is nothing. Don't worry. Mimi's got this. We'll do what we can, so the rest of you just focus on your work. You guys... Looks like Anastasia has a good thing going on in her camp. Right. Julius, Melty's surgery is the number one priority. We'll hold them off. Probably. Well, maybe. Yeah, hold up. Why did Mew sound so uncertain? Of course Mew will be fine with Miss Cruchet at your side. That is right, Ferris. I vow to keep this dragon carriage safe. Focus upon the surgery without worry. <laughs> Cruchet's team is amazing, too. <laughs> Why do you look so happy, Neely? Oh, it's nothing. I just thought it was strange. We're all supposed to be competing against each other for the throne, right? But here we are, working together. It's so strange, but... so wonderful, too. I feel like we can accomplish anything easy-peasy. You don't hear that phrase often, but I get what you mean. No, not just those here. It's reassuring to know they have our backs, but I'm gonna feel conflicted facing off against them in the royal selection. But they're on our side now. It's like having an army at your back. Neely, you're amazing! I'm gonna strive to be a positive thinker like you! Oh, Subaru, there you go being silly again. You're making fun of me, aren't you? No, no, not at all. I really do want to take a page from your book. You're right. They're incredible allies to have at our side right now. Besides, there's no point in worrying about the future until we get through this. Anyway, Ferris, we've got this handled, so stay focused on the operation. I'm already working on it, so stop distracting me! Sorry, got a little excited. All right, we know how much time we need to buy now. Now we need to discuss how exactly we're gonna slow them down to do that. Subaru Natsuki, I must speak before we consider the details of our plan. There are two things for us to address. Have you noticed? Two things? You mean there's something else besides stopping those guys? That's right. Hookah's fire is tremendously powerful. We cannot face it without some means of extinguishing it. <sighs> You're right. Split our resources between dealing with the fire and stopping them. It's gonna be tough. But we cannot simply ignore those fires. The smoke will be an issue as well. It will be difficult to continue the surgery without fresh air. The quasi spirits may be able to slow them down to a degree, but only for a short time. Right. to put out the fires, but it's a bit rough for me to deal with right now. It would have been better if it was earlier in the day, but... Oh, I'm feeling a bit sleepy. You wouldn't want me to be incapable of protecting Leah if she's ever in danger, right? Of course not! Just make sure Melee is safe, Puck! Um, I may not be nearly as adept as the Great Spirit, but I can put fires out with my water magic, too! Yes! Hatero would be perfect for that! Yeah, yeah! Hatero can be a firefighter! Would you mind? Not at all. However, I may not be able to help much in battle if I focus on putting out the fires. That's understandable. Someone needs to put those fires out. Although, come to think of it, it's gonna be tough without Hatero with us. We won't be able to use that attack. When Mimi and Hatero go wah together, it's super powerful! It'll stink if we can't use it. It should be okay, big sis. I'll be sure to stay near you while putting out the fires. Oh, okay. As long as you're near Mimi, we can go wah together. No problem. Okay. Be sure to stay near Mimi while fighting those fires, Heitero. What is this wah she's talking about? It's an attack called the Resonance Wave. When Mimi and Heitero roar together, it becomes very powerful. Resonance? So it's an attack that uses supersonic waves, like some sort of sonic weapon? Uh, I don't know what super what's it is, but like I said, it's a roar attack. Yeah, Mimi and 
hey, Taroko, wah! Then it goes boom! What kind of explanation is that? Though, I guess I get it. Anyway, we'll leave the fire to Heitaro. We're counting on you. Right. I will do my best. Okay. I think we can finally start talking about the specifics for our plan to stop those guys now. Indeed. Let us get to the main topic, Super Onatsuki. Throwing out ideas here, but what if we made an ice wall to slow them down? An ice wall? That's right, Neely. A giant wall of ice blocking their path. I feel like you and Rem should be able to pull it off. Yes, I think we could. An ice wall should stop those two from pushing forward. It may be possible for Miss Amelia, but I am not confident I can make it as well. Oh, really? But I've seen you make an ice wall before. You have? Um... But you can make an ice wall, too, right? Yes, Rem should be able to conjure a wall of ice, but not one that is powerful enough to stop those two. Rem is sorry to be of no use. No need to apologize, but I may ask for your help anyway if it comes to it. Is that all right? Yes, Subaru. I will do my best if that happens. It sounds like this will mainly be up to Melee then. Yes, I think I can manage. Just talk to me if you ever need an ice wall. Is there anything else we need to talk about? I don't think so. Do you feel like we missed something? Yeah. I think we need some sort of fallback plan if things go south. We're dealing with monsters that can heal as much as they please. With Heitaro focusing on containing the fire, we won't be fighting at full capacity. To be honest, another ally joining us would be ideal. What? You don't think we can handle it? Sorry, but we really shouldn't underestimate their endless healing abilities. I hope I'm just being overly cautious here, but I want to be prepared just in case. Subaru Natsuki, I understand your sentiment, but our resources are limited. There is no point in asking for what we cannot have. I think... Hey, Julius. What is it, Subaru? If things end up getting real bad, could I ask you to help out? Of course. I will do what I can if that happens. Wow, I'm impressed. You didn't even hesitate. It actually would have been more charming if you got all flustered or panicked. Sorry to disappoint. As a knight, I have a duty to remain collected at all times. I must abide by my duty in order to keep the citizens we protect from feeling anxious or afraid. Again, with the seriousness! You could try going for a laugh, or... Subaru Natsuki, what are you trying to accomplish? Do you not have a request for Julius Euclius? Sorry, Cruchet. You're right. Julius, there's an important task that only you can do. Do tell. I will do everything in my power to help. Basically, I want you to be our final weapon. If everything starts to fall apart in the end, could we ask for your help? We'll do our best to prevent that from happening, of course. Okay, then. If that happens, I will not hesitate to join the fight. Just say the word. I will. Thanks, Julius. Barisu, are you finished? I'd like to close the carriage door now. Yes. Keeping the door open will affect Miss Melty's surgery. You're right. It would defeat the purpose of sanitizing the carriage in the first place. Now, Barisu, we will continue to focus on the surgery. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Subaru. I don't think I can offer much help. What are you talking about? There's something only you can do. Just focus on that. I'm counting on you to watch over Melty, Tiga. Right. You take care of those two, Subaru. Of course. You can count on me. Subaru Natsuki. They are approaching. There is no more time to talk. You're right. We're done talking here. So now's the time for action. Okay, here we go. I'll do my best. Rem will not hold back. I am ready as well. 
I'm ready to go, Subaru. Me too. All right then, everyone. Let's stop Wolf and Puka. <laughs> <laughs>